Hey, what's up everybody? It's Pablo1713. Hi and welcome to Hobo Tough Life Simulator. So today, this is the special video I want to show my tips and tricks how to survive as a hobo. What more, I will also include the map which I created. You know, there is also map included in the game, but you know, it's kind of hard to use it and it's not very handy. So I prepared my own map with all the places, characters and everything that I found. It is not the final version, so for sure there are going to be some additional updates. Whenever I will find something, I will add it to the map. And as you can see, this is where we start our journey as a hobo. This is right now the day 13 for me, so we got some snow and I got my buddy, so the duck. So let's <laughs> let's say bark. Yeah, so we got a little bit more trust with him. So yeah, this is the where, the place where you start your game. So the first thing you should do is to go to Meister. So the first char attack that you can meet in the game is located right in here and why it's very important to start with the action with him because he will give you some additional missions which will lead you to yes. some additional items from him so for example you will be able to craft some additional items so if you're gonna go to the crafting you will see that i am able to use and craft grab great life bringer life bringer and weak tea everything i learned from the meister so it is very important to start start missions for him because this will lead you to very key items which will help you in survival so this is very important to do and of course you can craft wherever you are so if i will go and craft the bandages i can press e and then you will see i got the mini game to craft the item all right so this is the person that you should first start and then your next step should be just go outside get in here and this is the first location of the base and well, I am preparing this because this is open server, so people can join. So I just want to make sure that they can go in here, hit up themselves, and you know, have better time in on this server. So yeah, it is, I'm always playing on Tuesday, so if you have the game, you can join me, whatever you want. Alright, so this is where you're gonna go, and then I can recommend you to go outside, because this is the best path to start your game. You're gonna go outside in here, and you're gonna turn left, and then you will just check everything in here. And very important stuff because when you're gonna press M you're gonna have the really terrible map at the start and you can buy the map in the new step but you know it is cost it cost 50 crowns so you need to get your money and get the map as soon as possible thanks to that you will know better location of your charter so this is the route that you should go so go just around go to this location of the dumpster dive there dive here you will get some additional items and additional skill and then go right in here and get into the streets. So once you're gonna get, you're gonna have some additional items. And wherever you're gonna be able to talk with somebody, talk with people. Because, as you will see, we're gonna make the conversation with this guy. We got additional points in speech, in begging, in sell. Even if, not, if, even if I'm not choose to sell anything, I will still get points in my trading. So then I'm gonna steal. And even the I got the stealing, I don't have to steal it. I can avoid it. But because if you're gonna see when I'm gonna steal you're gonna lose morale so this is not very good thing with stealing so bear this in mind that this will affect your morale okay so as you can see always try to use all the possible dialogue options all right then you're gonna go right there of course dive in those dumpsters talk to the people and I just want to speed up show you go and check in here the money there's the first location of the toilets, but it is cost 20 rounds, so this is the first location of the toilets that you should be familiar with. So you're gonna go straight away, avoid this corner, because usually there's a tug. Go in here and we're gonna, you should go and approach the church. So this is a very important location, because this will lead you to the missions to find the charity, and this will give you additional buffs. So this is the church, this is how you're gonna enter and start the mission for Father Burya. Once you're gonna do this, go outside of the church, turn left, and in here next to the pizza bobo, you have another base location right in here. And this is really super awesome base location. This is the base that I am using, because you can see I have plenty of stuff. I have two couches so people that are on the server can use it as well. So I let them just hit me up a little bit. So this is the place where I can recommend you to make the base. This is how it looks on the map. And of course, this is very close to the church. Also to the main street where you have some shops. 
where you can buy some stuff and also it is very close to charity so let's go outside to go and find the charity so i'll show you the location of the charity really close by really easy walk by as you can see we're going just up right away i'm just gonna avoid people i don't want to talk to anybody right now because i want to show the charity location it is safe passage so you don't have to worry about the any enemies in here or thugs right in here and this is the charity location right in here so i am with my dog this is the bobby and this is the dog from the mission so if you're gonna enter the charity this is where is sis agnes and she will provide you with mission to go with bobby for a walk and this will give us additional 50 coins additional trust as you can see we just returned the dog so this is the mission that you can make once every one day or two days once every two days something like that so sometimes she got really nice prices so as you can see 50 for this and we have 100 20, 200 180 and 400 for shoes okay that's too much but for here 50 for this jacket really awesome wind cheater so yeah this is super awesome if you're gonna press r you can compare with your current item that you have so right now i have ordinary jacket so as you can see i'm not gonna buy this but what very important you can go in here press and then you have your all statistics and all your items that you have in the inventory so while you're hidden in the sister agnes charity you can actually make some interaction with the items so i'm kind of hungry so 48 percent of the hungry so i can eat right in here in this menu this will increase my hungry what more because sis agnes is providing us with shower of course this will cost some money but not much so only 30 then we, we have the laundry for 50 and then toilet for just 10 rounds so the normal toilet is for 20 so you can save a lot of money in sister agnes so if you're gonna take the shower if you're gonna go back to this menu you will see that we have the other statistic right in here so right now i have zero but if you're gonna get it to the 50 or even worse situation you can go and take the shower and this will eliminate it to zero if you're gonna stink nobody will like to talk with you so it's really game breaking stuff so always make sure that you have for example soap which will eliminate the odor by 10 and the normal soap will eliminate by 40. so it is really important to have the soap as this is very key item to have so then we have here laundry so if we're gonna go back to our clothes you will see that our clothes have additional statistic information about the order so the order will means that we're gonna start taking the order penalty right here so right now i have zero 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 because i took all my clothes to this charity and i made the laundry so thanks to that they have zero 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 and then toilet if we're gonna go back again you'll see that if i'm gonna go and eat something more so for example this grub and because i just want to show you you see that we got information that we needed to go for the toilet so we need to use the toilet for the number two so as you can see we got 45 so i can use the toilet right in here use the toilet minus 10 crash but thanks to that if we're gonna go back you'll see that we are zero again what more we can get something for free from the charity so because it's winter right now i'm not gonna say that i'm hungry because this will provide me with food i need some wear maybe she's gonna have some good boots all right so let's check what she gave us so if you're gonna go in here i think that this is the new boots uh, unfortunately it is kind of the same that i have if you're gonna press r and compare everything here yeah, it looks like the same type of shoes that we already have and when you're gonna compare the statistic items most important stats for resistance so if you're gonna see if i'm gonna press r or if i'm just mouse over you'll see how the stats will change so right now i'm using the optimal actually clothes as you can see this cap will increase my water resistance by five by but it will reduce by nine the cold resistance and right now you know i am in the winter season so there is no point for me to use it as you can see i have a dog so i can move him right in here and then he's gonna show up in the game this is my own dog so i can this is the place where you're gonna place the other characters that can go with you so for example other hobos or dogs right in here we have the information about the bags so you can have three bags thanks to them we have the bigger inventory so this is something normal so here we got information how much we can carry so i'm almost on the limit because i have 131 for 131 and then we have the weapon so i have the <laughs> hammer as you can see and at the bottom we have information about our attack defense and charisma so attack and defense is for the battle and charisma is how big possibility will be for us to talk with other people 
So our clothes can also increase that or decrease. As you can see, if I'm gonna wear this cap, it will decrease by nine points. So yeah, so it is always good to look at this. Then we have the major statistic right in here. So to increase health, you need to use, for example, bandages, as you can see, it will increase by 10 or hiking medkit. This is the most useful item, the hiking medkit. It costs a little bit more, but if you're gonna count, it is much cheaper in the long run. So it is better to save some money in the supermarket and then buy the hiking medkit instead of bandages. What more, as you saw before, I can craft the bandages, so you can use some junk to craft it and then increase your health. What more, you can regenerate your health in your base, but I'm going to talk about it later on. So with food, you already saw that I ate something and it will increase my food. But at the start of the game, you have only scrap food and remember that this will also result in increasing the poison status so we're gonna get the above some level if you're gonna go outside of charity you will see that now i can go and show you the information about the statuses you see that there's a bar right in here which is showing the limit if you're gonna get to the orange level so let's say poisoning so what we're gonna eat status so i'm gonna try to go to the orange Okay, so we are now feeling sick, as you can see, and we reach this bar. Right now we got information that the health status is decreasing because we get above 40%. So, you know, this will decrease over time, as you can see, right now we have 40, but as you can see, also we lose some health. So it is very important to not, to not exceed those limits right in here. So how to decrease the limits fast? Well, we have very awesome item, which is kombucha. And as you can see, it will decrease the levels by 50%. So I can just wait a few seconds to get to 39. Or if you're going to be in a really bad situation, you can use kombucha to reduce the alcohol. So the drunkness right in here and also poisoning. So this is very important. So then with the morale, you saw that I can smoke cigarettes and then to that you can increase the morale. But this is very, I can say, not very good situation for your body because you can get into the addiction. So as you can see we have now 39, so you will see that now everything is alright and we are not losing any more health. So we're gonna stay on 99%. So with the with the happiness I can recommend to use the play guide. So this is the adult magazine and it is, will increase the morale by 100%. So you can buy it of course in the news stand. What about the energy? Well you can sleep but at the start of the game I can recommend to use the coffee because this will increase the amount of energy as you can see this will also inc decrease the amount of alcohol in your body so it is very good to get this okay i got again <laughs> the sickness so not a very good situation maybe i could use something so yeah <laughs> so remember to check your stats and how this how using an item will affect your whole body that information in here so this is the heat information then we have the willpower energy and also our health and how to heat up? Of course, you can fight the heaters. There are a lot of heaters. You can drop some junk inside and ignite them. Or you can craft the weak tea, which will increase by 100%. The life bringer also increases and also alcohol. But remember that the alcohol will also give you some negative effects. So, example, as you can see, rum plus 40%, 30, 30, and 40 right in here. So, you can then manage all the items that you have. And then this is information how wet your cloth is. Of course, you can heat up into the next to the heater and then you can dry out your clothes. So make sure that you will not get wet clothes because because of that you can freeze to death. Then we had the of course alcohol, so I talk about this, then we have the poisoning. So the best item is kombucha again. And you can buy kombucha in any shop. And the shop location is right in here. And then we have the illness. So the illness can happen and the best way to get rid of the illness will be some antibiotics. You can buy it or steal it from the people. There's a pharmacy nearby right in here. So as you can see, it will reduce by 50%. So right in here we have Lekarnia, which means that this is the pharmacy. So this is the place where you can also buy kombucha, hiking medkit. As you can see, this is the cost of 100 and bandage is for 30. So if you're gonna buy three bandages, this will cost you 90 and the health will only increase by 30. And in here for 100 we can have the health plus 50. This is why I'm recommending the hiking medkit instead of the bandages. Then in here we have antidepressants, antibiotics also and kombucha. 
So as you can see, you can steal the hacking medkit from the people. So this is very important stuff. And then right in here, as you can see, we have the labor office. So the place where you're going to have the job for really good money. So remember always to get in here to get some job options. And next to it, we have the police office. So if you're going to get caught by the police officer, you can go and enter right in here, go to the office, papil, and he will have the evidence locker. So this is where the items can be confiscated. So if you get some items like armor or drugs, they will be right in here. So you have to buy them back. So remember that you're going to have to do this right in here. I just want to say that try to avoid any fights with the thugs. If you're going to get caught by the thug, just try to bribe him or give him money. If you're going to die, you're going to lose 5 points in each statistic. So then you also lose every item that you have with you, which we can then get back from Meissner. Right in here you have the lost and found, and you can buy back the items that you lost. So as you can see, we can buy it back, but as you can see, it costs a lot of money. Some of the crappy stuff costs only one per item, but as an example, this sport jacket 15, 25, 100 for the boots, and 87 for the hammer. So you know, so in total, you're going to waste a lot of money by buying back. So it's very important, try to avoid dying and not face the tags until you're gonna have some better statistic. So when you're gonna lock picking, lock pick whatever you can, but don't steal the stuff that are not very important. Because if you're gonna unlock, nothing bad gonna happen, you're just gonna get the points in lock picking, which can be very useful in the future. But there's no point to steal like bottles or useless junk, maybe sometimes nails, and the rest, you know, it is not worthy because you will lose the morale. So the best thing is to just try to use and lockpick every item that you can, but then don't use it. So we are right in here next to the drugs. If we're going to go to the barter, you'll see that he got some items and luckily he got the fun, fancy couch. So as you can see, the cost is 300 crowns and thanks to that you will be able to place it in your hideout and thanks to that you will be able to sleep. When you're going to lose the points, you can buy them back, but as you can see, the cost is 1000. And this will give you the 5 lost points from your maximum status. So as you can see, morale, food, energy, warm and wet. So you know, it is, it's gonna be very costly. If they're gonna happen that you're gonna be almost on the edge of death, you can always visit the doctor. He's located right in here, as you can see. This is the doctor and he will heal you up if you're gonna be in a real bad, bad situation. So this is the place where you can go into the sewers job. And as you can see, I have the flashlight. And you can buy the flashlight in any of the news stands. <laughs> if you want to spam for some good talking, this is the perfect place. So this is the train station. And as you can see, this is the constant spawn of people. So this is the perfect place to stand in here and try to talk with people. And this will lead you to some really good money. Right in here, you can start the mission which will lead you to a very important person, which will give you this extra buff. This is the person. This is the crazy. This is the location on the map. Right in here we have Henry. And if you're gonna go to my statistic, right in here you're gonna have the begging. And you see I bought the expert level from him. And now we are getting additional item with successful begging. This is very useful stuff. As you can see I have plenty of stuff thanks to the begging. And this is the really awesome way to get really fast plenty of items and you know this is the key to survival. Uh, Let's see additional energy drink from her. And I want to show you that if you're gonna press R in the hideout setup we got information about our, our shelter. So as you can see we have some additional buffs and the buffs you can get the buffs by placing the items inside of your base. So you don't have to place it in the one base you can place on other bases and it will count in the total. Another thing, if you want another tip that if you want to craft, it is best situation to craft for me if we got the marker on the left side. So if you're gonna have the marker on the middle, you can exit and then re-enter once again and it's gonna be located in a different position. So remember that you can upgrade the furniture that you have in your base, but upgraded it, it will eliminate it from the, the Milestone status from the level 1 as you can see we had 10 now we have 8 and they move to level 2 because they're upgraded to level 2 So now as you can see if we're gonna upgrade one more item We're gonna have 3 by 3 and we're gonna get plus 5 buff
So yeah, so remember about this and remember that you have some additional buffs. So right now I have the physical regeneration and also mental regeneration. So whenever I go to sleep, my stats will regenerate to the maximum. So as you can see, now I'm a little bit hungry, so I'm going to eat something. So my mental is right now 71. So if you're going to go to sleep, all right, so let's check this. Yes, we have 94 for our mental health, as you can see, 100% for our health. And yeah, and we are 94 because we are fresh. <laughs> you, can, you can get the morale better from your pet and also some confidence buff and also warm buff. So this will warm up and you can get additional willpower from the interaction from with our dog. So let's bond with our dog. Yeah, let's try to move a little bit more to the right side. I don't know. Can you now go and go and fetch? Yes, he can. All right. So that's it for today, boys and girls. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope that you had now some much better understanding of the hobo life and you got some useful tips and tricks for me and i hope that it's going to be helpful in your own game all right so that's it for today boys and girls thanks a lot for watching i hope that you had some fun with me and i hope that we're going to meet each other next time so boys and girls have a wonderful day and if you're watching this at night then good night see you next time